Hey everyone, welcome back to part 11 of the series of videos in which I am talking about the best practices which everyone should try to follow whenever they are programming in the c -sharp language. If you want to watch any of the previous parts then you can do that by going through the links which are given in the description of this video. But that is not really required to do first before you watch this video because the contents of these videos are not really related to each other and they could be watched separately. So let's get on to the first best practice which this video has to offer. The first one is remove unused method arguments. When working on an ongoing project, many times we have to make changes to existing methods and the changes may include removal of usage of one or more method arguments. This is when many developers forget to remove unused method arguments from the method definition and XML comments. It is always a good thing to remove unused code instead of keeping it in hopes that it may be of use sometime in the future, 99% of the time it will never be of any use. In this code example, there are 5 method arguments but only 2 of them are being used in the method body, so it does not really make any sense to keep the arguments which are not being used. We can simply remove these unused arguments because we don't really need them in our code. So this is what I'm going to do now. And we also need to update the XML comments. Now this method is looking good because there is nothing over here which serves no purpose. The second best practice is do not use empty constructors. To state this one plain and simple, empty constructors are useless. There will be implicit default constructors created in the compiled code even if you will not provide one. Sometimes we just create empty constructors because we want to maintain a specific standard for all of our classes. If this rule is a must in your company and is required by management, then by all means do it. But if not, then don't waste your time and energy in creating those empty default constructors. For example, in this class, this constructor is really not doing anything. It is not initializing any code which is essential for the proper functioning of this class. Maybe in the future, we may have to add some code to the constructor of this class. But until that time comes, we don't really need this constructor and it is always a good idea to remove it. The third and last one for this video is never hardcode credentials. The title is self-explanatory here. It is a bad idea to hardcode credentials. There are several reasons and drawbacks of doing that. First of all, application compiled code is required to be kept on several servers to have enough bandwidth for user requests. If any one of those servers is compromised, then the compiled code can be decompiled and the credentials run a risk of being stolen. Secondly, Hard-coded credentials are very hard to change and it will require a new application build to be deployed on the production server for the new credentials to take any effect. The best thing to do is to save them in a configuration file which should reside in a centralized secure server or maybe a database table with good security mechanisms in place. So that was it for this video guys and I do hope that you have understood the contents of this video. If you do, please don't forget to place a like on this video. Also, don't be shy and subscribe to this channel and you will be the first one to know when any new video updates will come out. And I will see you in the next one.